Hi, I'm Donna with Donna's Things. Welcome to my channel. If this is the first time that you've been here, I do appreciate you coming, taking your time to come and see what we're talking about over here. Thank you so much. Of course, if this is not your first time, you know, as I always say, Ah, my heart is grateful that you would take your time to come and spend just a few minutes with me on this Friday evening. It's Friday, the end of the work week for some of us, and now we have holiday coming up. So some of us will have a long weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. More time to spend at home, get some things done that you normally can't do. More time to spend and share with your family. And it's Friday Sews. Thanks over to Jen at Today in Jen's Sewing Room, her and other collaborators who have come together to create this wonderful space that we might all come together as sewers, watch each other's videos, even learn some new techniques. I know that I have. So thank you, Jen, for creating this space for us. What have I been doing this week? I had decided that this would be a quiet, restful week. I said I wasn't going to do a lot of sewing. If you've been watching my channel or you've seen any of my videos, you can see that I am always sewing, that I sew a lot. So I had told myself, don't really do any sewing this week. Maybe take some time to clean out my closet because I discovered with as much as I have been sewing, I still have bottoms that don't have tops, and I still have tops, of course, that don't have bottoms. So I want to rectify that. So I was thinking, clean your closet out. I probably have a lot of clothes that I can give away, you know, or maybe take to a shelter somewhere. Um, so that was what I decided on Sunday. Well, Monday rolled around. I didn't do any sewing, but I didn't clean the closet. Tuesday rolled around. I looked in my closet and I was like, oh my gosh, this is a big job. I don't know if I want to do it. So I started a little bit of it, just kind of looking at what I have and what I don't have, but I didn't get very much done. By the time Wednesday rolled around, I was looking around my sewing space and I was like, I want to sew something. So I looked at the fabrics that I have, which I don't keep a lot of fabrics, but I looked at the fabric stash that I have. Didn't see anything that really sparked my interest. Looked at my patterns and I decided I wanted to make this dress. This dress, Butterick 6680, it's actually really, really, really cute. You can see, somewhat see, the line drawings that are here. But I absolutely love it. It has the bodice here. And as you can see with her stripes, um, you know, it has three different pieces on it. I can't really say it the right way, but three different pieces on it. And I was like, I would love to make that, but I really don't have any fabric for it. Then... I saw another pattern, this McCall's pattern, and I thought, well, maybe I'll make this one. McCall 7405. Here are the line drawings. But I looked and I was like, mm, I don't really have any fabric for that. So as I started thinking about the other things that I wanted to sew, I said, I need zippers. And right now, Hobby Lobby has their zippers anywhere from... 99 cent to three dollars and 49 cent all of those zippers are 99 cents so i've been going back and forth just buying zippers so that i could get a good amount in my stash but i remembered that i needed a tan zipper and i didn't have one so i went to hobby lobby and of course this is the week that they are doing 40 percent off of their fabric and I went in there, I only bought two things, guys. I bought my zipper. I bought actually bought about seven or eight zippers, but I bought two pieces of fabric, K 
came home Wednesday evening from Hobby Lobby and, um, well, after work. Went to Hobby Lobby lunchtime, then came home after work and decided, hmm, I think I want to sew because I was missing it. And I did my first dress, the knit dress, the Butterick dress. And in Hobby Lobby, I bought this fabric. It's just a fun fabric. This, uh, <laughs> so adorable. This white with these lemons and the leaves. And I think it's gorgeous. Love the neck. And then here's that gathered waistline. I mean, gathered on the side as they did. And you really can't see where the seams are. Even though I top stitched them, you can't see it that well. But the dress, I don't know. <laughs> can't really see it that good. But anyway, it turned out to be a really, really cute dress. It is definitely form-fitting, but I just love it. I'll have to post a picture of it so you can get a really good look at what it looks like. Yes, it does look like the pattern does, and I'm happy about that. It's a pretty close fit, but I really, really like it. The other fabric that I bought from Hobby Lobby is this. I'm going to tell you, this is, it feels like a rayon. But they said the uh, bolt said um, cotton twill. Now, when you feel it and when you look at it, you can feel it's very, look how drapey that is. So you know it's not really a twill, but you can see and feel the twill, but it's very, very, very light. And I decided to make this dress, the, um, the McCall's pattern. You can't see it that well. But it's just so cute and so adorable. And I will have a picture of this one also. So, I couldn't help myself. Yes, I ended up sewing some. It's what I do. It's who I am. But I had a good time um, making it. Love the way they came out. And even though I'm having to make some changes in my closet, I do know that I need summer dresses. So those two dresses will go in my closet once I finish them. Um, you know, I get their finish except for the hem. And I'll go ahead and get that done probably over this weekend or into next week. But that's pretty much I, what I've been doing. The other thing I've been doing is, you, you know, I'm really not good at these videos. I'm learning. I have a young lady that helps me and she knows what she's doing. But when I have to do them on my own, I'm really just learning. But I have been practicing because I would like to do a few solos. I, um, feel like I could, I would be able to do a sew along and I would be able to help someone who really doesn't know how to sew because I want to begin to offer classes. So I have been videoing, videotaping myself sewing different things and talking through it just so I could get in the habit of it, I can get used to it, and I can know what I'm doing when I put myself out there. So I am working on that. And then the other thing I want to share is the first week of June. Now, June 1st falls on a Thursday, so it'll be the following full week. I'll be putting out a video. Um, I think two, maybe three people asked to see my studio space. And for me, if one person asks or 200 people ask, you know, I still would like to um, fulfill that request. So I will be putting that out also. And so that's what I've been working on. I'll I'll spend more time on the closet because I don't like to have things in my closet that I'm not going to wear or can't wear when there are so many others, especially in shelters, maybe battered um, women's shelters, you know, where these ladies are needing nice clothing to go out and look for jobs or whatever they might need to do. You know, somebody might have had to pack up real quick, left everything behind and don't have any clothes. And I'm sitting here with a closet full of clothing. So of course, I would love to be able 
to make make a couple of donations. So that's what I have been doing um, this week. Uh, we have this holiday weekend coming, as I said. So just want to share with you to be safe. Of course, uh, just like I said last Friday, always be aware of your surroundings. And I had to write this down so I didn't forget. I wanted to make note of, um, I really want to start blogging. I do have a blog. I'll post the link. Well, the link really doesn't work, so I'll probably have to post it the next time. I started a blog where I was talking about several different things as I was inspired to do so. And I want to go back to doing that. And so one of the things I'm going to be talking about is food. Um, I'm sorry about that, guys. Somebody's trying to message me. But one of the things I'm going to be talking about is food and us changing our diets to... Um, you know, eat better than what we do. Not that everyone eats wrong, but just, you know, to have a healthy diet. And so I'll be talking and blogging about that. A friend of mine and I were sharing recently that the restaurants just aren't the same, not even the fast food. We already know that. But even restaurants, the quality of food is just not the same anymore. So we don't know what we're eating anymore. We don't know who's fixing this food. We never really knew that. But now, you know, business, a lot of businesses have become so that they're really not caring anymore. And so, you know, maybe we can make some adjustments in the way we eat, enjoy cooking at home just a little bit more. I know for me, I need to find fun ways. I don't do the majority of the cooking in my house. I don't think everybody cares a whole lot about my cooking. I think it's very good, but I'm not a heavy seasoned person. I don't like, you know, it's just a lot of things that I don't like, so of course I don't cook them. But once I get that blog going again, I will post the link for it. Hopefully you'll be able to read it sometimes and be able to glean from, you know, some of the things that I put there. So that's how I'll be spending my time. I say I'm not going to sew, but I just can't help myself. I say I'm not going to buy fabric, but I really can't help myself. But I did good job. Two pieces of fabric in Hobby Lobby. I think I spent I think I spent $15 total buying those two pieces of fabric. Probably spent about three hours or so total, maybe three and a half total, making both of those garments. So it's a win-win as far as I am concerned. Um, it's what I do. It's what I love. So thank you for joining me on this evening. Hope I didn't keep you too long. If you like the content that you've seen, hit that like button, share my channel, Subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to ring that bell so that you are notified every time I upload a video. Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Enjoy the holiday with your family. If it's an extra day off for you next Monday, enjoy that day off and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.